in human trafficking you have prevention, protection and prosecution. And we are mainly about prosecution, but we realize that we need to make cross-sector cooperation. So we have non-governmental organizations coming that are very good at prevention and protection of victims are also very good non-governmental organizations, international organizations. So we are very happy to have all our cooperation partners here. And this year we have also tried to get together a number of representatives from private industry because uh, we are focusing a lot of forced labor this year and you have supply chain all the way from the harvest or the catch at sea. We are talking about fisheries all the way to the shelf in the supermarket. And there you see the private companies. They have an important role to play. So this is the new step we are taking this year. Well, I see a substantial potential for Interpol here. And that is exactly the role that half of our pilot project is all about developing a solid base for a larger scale project in more areas, in more sectors. Because the international component is so essential in human trafficking, because it's so often a transporter phenomenon, and it's, it's a crime type that is relevant for all countries in the world. So we are just setting up, we're just setting off in West Africa. It's not because this is the only place in the world this is happening. It's just to have a point of departure. So I really see a significant role for Interpol. And don't forget, we are, we are working well in South America, we are working well in Central America, we are working well in Africa now. So I see the expansion here, and our dream of course is to, to go to Asia as well. But we also have to admit that we need to take one step at a time, so that is what we are doing.